Yeah. So I'm at Pendle Hill. It's the middle of the night, and um, I'm drinking coffee because <laughs> um, I'm almost done with the video song for Together We Compose This Bloody Bleeding Beating Drum, which is, you know, I committed to doing these 10 video songs for um, Clothe Yourself in Righteousness, I think in part to, well, I don't, you know, you get a leading and then you do it and you only find out later, maybe never, why you were given that leading, but my guess is that there's some reason that it's good for me to have video editing skills, that that will come in handy in the future, and also, you know, like, people are hearing about the songs because of the videos, and I am definitely getting better at it, so this, uh, together we compose this bloody bleeding, beating drum has taken me about a month. I stopped um, caring about the weekly schedule that I set out and said, let's just do the best job we can us being me and also me when I'm very tired. Um, so anyway, I wanted to say a, a little bit about Together We Compose This Bloody Bleeding Beating Drum. I wrote it as a spoken word piece um, when I was hanging out with some slam poets, the slam poetry crowd down in Chapel Hill. And um, it was a lot of fun to write. It took me about two years to write. It was... Um, you know, I would I was would write on scraps of napkins. I the way I write is that I things just kind of come to me when I'm walking or when I'm feeling a rhythm, and um, I say, well, what is this? Is this a new song? Does this go with an old song? And for the longest time, for two years, it was all together. We composed this bloody, bloody, bleeding, beating drum. I would get something, and I I specifically remember being on a bridge in Richmond, uh, going across to the. Um, that island. What's the island called near Hollywood Cemetery? Are you from Richmond? Do you know? Bird Island? Bird something Island? <laughs> yes, something Island. Wow, this is getting this is getting loopy. So I okay, I was walking across this bridge and I um, and I type I started texting myself lines because I didn't have anything to write with. So um, and later I looked back and I was like, oh, that fits perfectly where I was stuck in this one poem. So anyway, that was two years of this of just getting lines and throwing it into this poem. And then I started um, performing it as a spoken word piece um, without any instrumentation. So when it came time to record an album, I said, um, well, I want to try and put music to it. I want to see what that looks like. And what that looked like was just a logistical nightmare, <laughs> um, or at least something very complex. I mean, we had to, um, I had to use the metronome sometimes, and other times, no metronome, like at the beginning, I'm not on a metronome at all. Um, so that was kind of complex. What do you put in your headphones if you're not supposed to be listening to a met metronome at the beginning, but you are later? And then the tempo shifts three times, and there's just a little part with uh, with a violin, but it took us like two or three days just to do the violin. It's like a 40-second violin part, but it's so many violins, and it's sprawling, and it's got these weird kind of rhythms to it, and there's harmonies, and there's a cello in there, and just for 40 seconds, just for like this one moment of recording, and the rest of the song, it's us this seven minute, well, seven minutes when I perform it, so it's six minutes on the album, but it's six minutes of me playing the same guitar riff, and playing, and playing, and playing, and playing, at the end I was like, oh my god, my hand, and I think I had to do something like 30 takes, so 30 times six, those of you, Belle Isle, that's the name of it. Um, so 30 takes of that, and then I had to do 30 takes of the vocals, because I had to do the vocals in one take, um, and it's the only song I've ever not used backup vocals for. So anyway, my opus, my, my masterpiece, my baby, um, I didn't want to make a shitty video. I wanted to make a really good video, so I took the time to organize things. I found a live version that I really, really like. Um, the live version is from Abington meeting in December, and um, we were just, you know, I was really connected with the audience, and um, there was a lot of laughing. It's kind of like, oh wow, this is getting personal, but like I've been talking with sec, well, <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not going to go there, never mind, four minutes, I'm going to be done, I'm going to be done. So here's the song, please click on it and watch the video song, um, it, uh, it's, it, I have now worked on it. I worked on it for 11 hours straight yesterday, and that was just like the final parts. It is, I'm learning a lot about video editing, and this particular one I'm very happy with, so that's why I'm making this vlog and rambling. 
at the camera. Sex therapists. I was going to say sex therapists. Or just people just talking about sex and making love. Um, like, there has to be a lot of laughing. You know? You just have to be really comfortable. I feel like that with an audience. Like, it can be really awkward to perform in front of an There, I said it. It's like performing in front of an audience is like making love with them. And, you, you know... You, there has to be a lot of laughter and comfort, and you have to find a place where everyone is just, like, you know, comfortable. <laughs> so anyway, we got there with Abington meeting, and, and that definitely shows in the video. Wow, maybe I just made everyone really awkward right now. I'm feeling a little awkward, but that's what a vlog is, right? I'm just going to be myself. And right now I'm very tired and almost done. Check it out. Stop.